We were holding in the middle of Sif Mem. When we showed how that principle of bringing down the, the light of the truth abides not only by Hanukkah but also by Shabbos. And he says like this the entire year. You know, we're not meritorious enough to bring down the revelation of the truth perfectly. The only, the only time we can do it is just on Shabbos. Shemarav is Allah Osid Lovin that alludes to the future, the time to come. Shaz is Galemus Bishlemus, then the truth will be revealed, you know, perfectly. That a language of truth will be established forever. It <coughs> doesn't mean that the, the language of truth, the, can you please, the language of truth will be when it was established forever. What it says is the language of truth will be established forever. So I'm talking about the future, not talking about the past. In this world, this is a world <coughs> that, that contains their start. I'm going to day talk of financial Hanukkah, but through the, 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 the strength of the miracle of Hanukkah, we, we, uh, we get to bring down the, the revelation, the illumination of the truth. And you know, and, 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 and growing the name of Hashem, the name of Kedusha, even in Echol. In other words, in this world, the only thing that we can do is on Shabbos. You know, because Yim Echol is Yim. <coughs> but the Hanukkah candles, the koyach of Hanukkah is that you are able to bring the illumination of the truth. He is even to the weekdays, not only to Shabbos. This is a place that, this is, this, there's nothing that, you know, that we don't have another tool that is that potent. What we do is, <coughs> I apologize, we're going into the lion's den. We are, you bring the light to the residence of the slave. Shabbos are in the king. The Shabbos, yeah, okay, Shabbos. Shabbos in itself is Pchina Sayyidim But on Hanukkah, you bring it down to the weekdays. Weekdays, we said, is Pchina Slave when compared to Shabbos. When, so, the Hanukkah, you're bringing the light, you know, into where the, the Emma's darkness is. Then there's, that's the realm of, 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 of lay activity. Shubchinas <coughs> Ebed, that's the, that's the essence of, of slavery. And nevertheless, with the, the, the Ner Hanukkah, we are able to bring down the Kedusha of Shabbos, of Olam Abba, of the truth, you know, on Olam Abba level. You're able to bring it and a look at Ner Hanukkah by lighting Ner Hanukkah. <coughs> to reveal the light of the truth in the world. And to do what? And to cancel out the switching of the slave that was switched with the Mera Melech. Now, also now, to differentiate and to sift and to find out, you know, the, the, the true name. In other words, reality is what it is. Our perception of reality is the name we call it. Like, let's say that somebody does something uh, and we, mis we misinterpret it. <coughs> For instance, There was a tremendous story that 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 I read that was was made available through um, 
the Chofetz Chaim Heritage Foundation, about the, the Indian of Obi Nalakavskos, the rabbi, so uh, a member of his public of his congregation, you know, he went to New York City, he came out to Sabo, or whatever it is, and he saw this store, Trafe Restaurant, and he saw one of the Hoshima members of his congregation sitting there and eating there. It's like, you know, also does Kshu, and he was like, he was stunned. So, he stopped, and he said, How can I be Mekayan and went down and scold Adam Akafskos? Judge everybody favorably. <coughs> so he says, you know, and he saw the guy, the guy didn't see him. He just, he just noticed him and he didn't say anything. And he said to himself, how can I be judging favorably? So he came up with this really outlandish, you know, scenario. The guy has a bleeding ulcer. Now, anybody has a bleeding ulcer, he has to eat. If he gets hungry, he can be in life danger. He has to eat on the spot. You know, he cannot... Whatever it is. Whatever it is, just go and eat. So, that's probably what happened. Now, that's ridiculous. I mean, just... What are the odds? You know, what are the odds, right? That's like going a, on a real script. And... And like a couple of days later, this man comes to him and he says that he wants to be Messiah with the rub. And I says, sure, what? So the guy says, you know, you know, I didn't tell anybody, but I have a bleeding also. Just the other day I felt hungry and I had to eat and I went into a tray for a restaurant. And I don't know what to do, what kind of chew to do, and this and that, and I, it, it eats me. I don't know what. Usually I have food with me, and I didn't. And... Now, you ever been serious with the guy sitting there, and often this guy sitting there, the tray transfer, and is eating. <coughs> the question, the Metzius is what it is. The guy has a bleeding ulcer, and he has to eat. You don't know what came before. You don't know the Metzius of the guy. You don't know what were the circumstances. So if you're passing there, Right? The question is, I mean, the Metzius is what it is. It doesn't matter what you call it. It doesn't matter what you think about it. It doesn't change what it is. But it changes what you think it is. In other words, what name do you call it? Do you call it the name of, here is the, no, it's the hypocrite. Hypocrite. A picurious, you know, guy that that in the congregation is like the the president, <coughs> you know, like Mr. Chobedik, Hash of the guy and everything. While behind the scene it's just a low life, you know, it's eating in trash restaurants. Uh, or you give it the name of the truth. You once said that there's a difference between the action and the person. You judge the person fairly. But the action is the action. No, the action is also not right. The action what it is, is a mitzvah. It's pikuach nefesh, whatever it is, it's a mitzvah. Yes, they eat. It's a mitzvah to eat there in the tray of restaurant, the vada, he wants, there's no question. <coughs> the only difference is the name. The name is the interpretation that you give it. What do you call it from the outside? Everything which is good and bad, and whatever it is that society thinks is good and bad, is all about the names that you give from the outside. So that's what we're saying. Hadlokas Nech Hanukkah, what it does is it ascertains what the true name is. As we said, the prince is the prince no matter what you call him. And the, the event is the event, the slave is the slave no matter what you call him. But if you call the right prince a prince, and the Evid an Evid, everything in the world sits properly. 
when you switch the names, <clears throat> the entire world goes haywire. Same thing, you know, the real Bechor was supposed to be Yosef. So the switching of, of, of Flohan, you know, now the Bechor is Reuven. So now when Yosef behaves as a Bechor, his brothers, you know, bristle away. What to do with that? That brings about Golos Mitzrayim with the whole shebang. It's the switching of the name. The switching of the name, the, the revelation of the name of Hashem is the revelation of what the truth actually is. So that we are able to recognize what is the truth and what is the lie. <coughs> I'm always asked, Where I always say that I'm always asked, what's the difference between Rabbeinu and all the other rabbis, all the other? And I always say that that a rebbe is a bechina of melech, of king. If you see the Rebbe, the Vishnu Rebbe, the Gera Rebbe, or whoever, <coughs> it all corresponds to the Bechina of being a Melech. What is it called being a Melech? It means, you know, the Melech, when it's, he's great or, 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 or small, depends on, the, on how many people he has, right? How many people live in his kingdom. You know, the king of the United States is a big king, you know, the king of, of, of Andorra or, or, or Liechtenstein is a... Yeltsmer, okay, he's a king, you know, that, and what happens if, you know, a, a son of a czar is sitting in Europe drinking coffee after the revolution or whatever, it's a... so... That's the first thing about Rebbe's. You know, Rebbe has a lot of Hasidim. He's a big Rebbe. He has a little, few Hasidim. He's a, a, a small Rebbe. It doesn't, remember who, it doesn't matter who the Rebbe is. It doesn't matter, you know, if he has it, doesn't have it. No. A second attribute of a Melech is that he's a Melech. Why? Because his father was a Melech. Right? It doesn't matter whether he's smart or stupid, even if he's a Russia, his father was Malach, he's Malach. And point number three <coughs> is that being that he has a monarchy, monarchy naturally has institutions, it has an army, it has Uniform. There's a certain seder, you know, the kids, the born the rabbis, usually the Sunday, you know, then he goes to Cheda, and he's three years old, and the rabbi he gives him to give a schnitt to the hair, then he goes, you know, from to Cheda, and then the Shiva Ktana, the Shiva Kdaila, whatever it is, and then he gets married, maybe for a couple of years goes to Kaila, then he goes to work. And, uh, you have an army. Rabbeinu, on the other hand, I mean, and, and not only this, but in, in a Melech, he cannot be uh, a citizen of another kingdom and consider yourself, you know, you cannot be a Lubavitcher in Bells. <laughs> you belong in Bells. In Bells, if you're Lubavitcher, Lubavitcher. You can't see, okay, I'm going to wear Bells, uh, you know, Lubavitcher, Levushim. <clears throat> and I'm going to go to the Lubavitch of this, and I'm going to make his vados and whatever it is, but I'm a bells on it. He can't be. It's either this or that, right? Rabbeinu is, first and foremost, he's a doctor. Instead of being a melech, besides being a melech, he's, first of all, a doctor. A doctor is unlike a melech. <clears throat> the only thing that counts is whether he knows medicine. 
It doesn't matter whether his father was a doctor or his father was not a doctor. His father can be a shoemaker. If he's a doctor, he's a doctor. And vice versa. His father could have been the biggest doctor in the world. If he himself is not a doctor, he's a shka doctor, right? Now, and if he is a doctor, you can say that he's not a doctor until the cows come home. It doesn't make him always doctor. He's right to a doctor. Only problem is that if you say that he's not a doctor, you're preventing people that really need the doctor from going to him because they think he's not a doctor either. This is called Astor Hashem. That's the hiding of the name. The hiding of the name. You're switching the name. <clears throat> On the other hand, the second, the second attribute of a doctor is that <coughs> in his waiting room, all kind of people sit there, you know, rich, poor, fat, thin, you know, people with funny hairdos, people with piercings, people with tattoos, I mean, people from the Asharim, everybody's there. It's a second attribute, because they all come for a reason. They don't belong in a club, they don't belong in, a, in, in an army, They're, they come there for the doctor. The third attribute, that nobody can tell the other one, listen, you're not a patient of this doctor. You don't belong here. Who the heck are you? I asked you anything. I come for you. I'm your yes, friend. I don't know. You, you come to the doctor. I come to the doctor. Who are you to tell me? It's nonsense. I mean, who are you? It's not your... There's <coughs> no... Outfit you wear to the doctor's office. You just wear you wear what you have. It doesn't matter. It's not saying no. This kind of illness does not. Who the heck are right. you to say? You know what's yeah, awesome. You know you no longer. Not only this, but all the patients are equally patients. They're no more than patients. The only thing that they can do, the only thing that they can do, is. A, be good patients and do what the doctor says. And B, be kind human beings and tell people what the doctor says and teach other people, teach other patients what the doctor says so that they too can benefit from and, and be megalic, the gdula of the doctors. So people will have, you know, the, 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 the aura of how the great the doctor is and will do what he says, and will come close to him. But other than that, everybody is a patient by the doctor. Everybody is equal. <coughs> the only symbol that someone is not a patient of the doctor, what do you think? He discourages others from going to the doctor, no? He, he says, I myself am the doctor. Uh. You know, come to me. I'm, 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 I'm a doctor. He's trying to steal the patients. No, he's trying to take the mantle of, of being a doctor. Then, you know, he's, he's not a patient of that doctor. You know, maybe he's a doctor himself. Maybe he's not. Maybe, but that's a sure symbol he's not a patient. Other than that, I don't care if you're crazy as a June bug. Oh, but even, even a doctor that certainly needs to go see a doctor, a doctor can't hear him. <laughs> even if somebody says that they're a doctor, no, but I'm saying Still, they, you they, need to go to the hospital. But he's saying that the, the same man is he's trying to take thing for himself. Like uh, he's trying to say I'm the doctor. Right. Or, I am the doctor. I can also help. You know, I can. You know, why bother? Go to him. Come to me. I said, well, come right, right. Then you show. Yeah. That's the only simon <clears throat> that you're not a patient of that doctor. You know, sure. that you hide the the the, the you hide the, the original doctor. That's the only. There's a big there's a big difference. So we may learn. That's what the Bible says in 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 Teresa Mechzayin in the second chapter of the Kutam Aran, number sixty-seven. The Bible explains that that when the name of the true tzaddikim become concealed, the name of the false tzaddikim, you know, get famous. That's the non-doctors claim to be doctors. People believe them and thus conceal 
you know, create a situation that people are not aware of the identity of the true doctor. This is called Astar Hashem. This is what the Rebbe says. That's the 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 uprising of of Mereish. You know, the revelation is of fire. That's the opposite of Merea or the revelation of light that reveal the truth of Hashem. <coughs> This is what you need. It's true. And look, it's Nechanukah. But lighting Nechanukah, what you're doing is you're bringing, you know, a, 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 a catalyst to the to the revealing, to reveal the the, metzios, the, the, the true name of Hashem, to know who is the Miroy, who is really proper to call him the, the, the son of the slave. And who really should be titled, you know, the Ben Amalek. And this is what it says, and she, she woke up while it's still night. But in terms of Levison, she gave <coughs> food to her household. The sustenance to her, to her maidens. As it is said above in, in Oisid Base. In other words, that either you wake up while it's still night, in other words, still in, in, in the depth of the night, in the darkness of the night, you reveal the light of the truth. That is the essence of the Chanukah, that you bring the holy light, the light of, of the truth, also during the weekdays. Below the level of a Sorit Fokhim. We always have. You know, they said, the Shechino, the Divine Providence, has never gone down <coughs> below the level of Ten Tfachim. Because we have the Indian of Hilchas Shabbos, that, you know, there is four domains for Shabbos. Hilchas Yochid, right, that's a private domain. Shusarabim, that's a public domain. Then you have the Kabbalists, which is like a, a, a certain a, a, a domain which is in, in Makom Potter and, and a place which is exempt, neutral place. Kabbalists is a neutral place that resembles Shusarabim, the, the, the public domain. And therefore, certain halachas that pertain to the public domain <coughs> apply to the Kabbalists, so the people should make a mistake between the Kabbalists and the Shusarabim. They'll see that people behave like a metal, you know, a moving objects, whatever it is in Kabbalists, like a like a, a field of a certain side, whatever it is. It's a, that uh, there is actually a computer. But it's just Arabi, you're not allowed to move something down and down as four, four hours. You're not allowed to move. People will see. Now, Kabbalists, it looks a little bit like, like just Arabi. People will see you moving objects over in the old Shabbos. They'll say, ah, it's allowed, you're allowed to move objects in just Arabi. So Rabbanu says it's separate rishos. <coughs> now, one of the alochas of of, of Tiltul on Shabbos and Erevin, the whole, the whole thing, is that the Shusarabim is only up to 10 Tfachim high. Above 10 Tfachim is called the Kompotter. It's a neutral place. The Asarat Tfachim, the Asarat Tfachim, which are the public domain, are so because the public domain is called the place of the clippers. That's the place where life takes place. You know, the interchange. You know, people do business, people live. That's the height of a man. And uh, so, Mimela, this is where the clippers have. You know, you're battling with them. You know, the, the whole saga and drama of your life is taking place 
you know, with the dead Falchim. So, here's the Klippet. Above it, the, the, the Klippers don't have Shaykha. So, above it is called Mokom Potter. It says, The Shechina has never gone down below a Sarat Falchim. Because that's, you know, that's the lion's den. That's a nightclub, you know, that's a day club, whatever you want to call it, you know. That's where the hanky taking is taking place. The Shechina won't go down it. You know, they can suck directly from the Shechina, Shani Lachemin. Nevertheless, nevertheless, the uh, Hanukkah is bringing a light that is so strong and so fortified that the mitzvah of lighting the Hanukkah is Davka Lamata Masarat Fachim. Supposed to put the Naro below Tet Fachim. You're bringing the light to the lion's den. You're bringing the illumination of the truth, Lamata Masarat Fachim. Zebchinas Ner Hanukkah, Shalom Shikh, and Ola Kodesh, and Ola Emes, Gabi Behol, Velamata, and Sarat Fokin, Ken, Reina, Bebo, Bakavoras, and Shamatim, a Venetim. So, up to here, we will learn today. You can please stop the.